my first movie at the movies since oh yeah been be in between lockdowns in victoria my wife and i saw uh 1917 it was my second time and it was her first time she liked my review she's totally biased because she's my wife <laughs> and we went and saw it and i loved it just as much the second time as i did the first time now I hadn't been in the movies in so long, I know, I could have just rented a copy of this, sat down, watched it, and enjoyed it that way. But now, my wife, my sister, and I went to the movies to see the original, and you're damn sure we were going to go see the sequel as well. So, fuck, it's been eight days since my last movie review, and I'm already kind of like out of sync. I'm like, there should have been another one. Look, Christmas, so busy, as I'm sure a lot of people were. So I didn't get a chance to watch too many movies. Plus, I've been addicted to this video game called Planescape, which is... Never mind. Anyway. Oh. Wonder Woman, uh, 1984. Wonder Woman, 84. Here's a... Oh, it's a new movie. Hey! <laughs> wow. Wow, I'm so out of the loop. And I know I could kind of just, like, stop this, start again, be more confident, and like, yeah, I know what I'm doing here. <sighs> nah. I think it's better if you all know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm saying either. Anyway, Wonder Woman 84 is a new movie, which is directed by Patty Jenkins, written by both Patty Jenkins and... Uh, comic book extraordinaire, for, especially for DC Comics, Jeff Johns. And it stars Gal Gadot, uh, Kristen Wiig, uh, Chris Pine, and uh, Pedro Pascal. Which is pretty cool. Uh, as a viewer of The Mandalorian, it was weird to see him so emotional and expressive. But I really got into it after a while. But first... I just want to, I guess, complain about two things that I really wanted in this movie, and I don't feel like I got it. One, there's not enough Wonder Woman kicking ass in this movie. It's fucking Wonder Woman. A Wonder Woman movie should have Wonder Woman kicking as much ass as maybe a Superman or a Batman or any other fucking superheroes. It's freaking Wonder Woman. It's like barely any action in this movie. And... If this movie was shorter, it would feel like there were more action in it. But this movie is two hours, four, ooh, two hours, 35 minutes. Two and a half hours. Why did it need to be this long? That's the second thing I wanted to complain about. The friggin' length of this movie. Ever watch a movie and you think, that was alright, but some of the scenes could have been shorter? I felt that about every scene in this movie. You can trim, 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 trim. Trim it down. Like, you can get rid of the total intro start. That would be gone. I just saved you some time there. It's just baffling to me how this movie can be so long but not have all that much in it. It's kind of boring. It held my interest, but I'm just like, come on. You know, comic books come out every month. And in that monthly issue, you want to see a little bit, a little bit of drama. Uh, you want to see some ongoing plots move forward. And you want to see some fun superhero shit. And, you know, it's good for Spider-Man to have all these fucking morals and shit. But I want to see Spider-Man punch pricks in the face. There's no baddies in this movie either. And don't get me started. Like, what? The, the baddies of a fucking Wonder Woman movie are a nerd and a yuppie. Big fucking deal. They teased. They tease. Minor spoiler here. I'm not going to go into spoiler territory too much. But they tease a god of some kind. We never get it. Instead, the villains, I guess, are... Kristen Wiig and Pedro Pascal. That's not a bad thing. I think Kristen Wiig won me over. I'm like, really? A supervillain? Really? Cheetah? How are they going to do that? I 
thought they did it really well. At least I loved her performance and stuff, but she didn't seem too evil or villainous or bad. And it, and yes, Pedro Pascal's got this like excessive yuppie kind of personality. All he was missing was the cocaine. But I didn't see him as much of a threat or big big evil or anything like that either. So I thought they were kind of building up to something else for the last third. But no, they're not. And the movie will rely on the fact that it's set in the past. Big deal. Fucking a lot of movies are set in the fucking past. Who cares? And I, I and it also relies on the relationship between uh, Trevor and Diana. And it's good. The performances are good. The dialogue's fine. It's just too long. Move. Move on with it. Uh, tell your story. Uh, you know, just... Hurry up. Come on, let's do it. Now, I understand you, you want to feel like you've given people a bang for your buck. But, man, I would take 90 minutes of sheer awesome over two and a half hours of... Oh, my God. Punch something. Please. Please. As for the 80s setting, I guess it gets about the 80s as accurate as Captain Marvel got the 90s. It's fine. For some reason, it's much easier to do World War One and stuff like that than it is like a couple decades ago. But that's fine. Uh, look, it, it, it looked fine to me. I didn't, I didn't really pay attention to how good or bad people might find the effects or anything like that. But I just found it kind of slow and plotting. And I wanted more. you got someone like Gal Gadot, no offense to her, she ain't gonna win an Oscar. Well, maybe she will. Maybe she is. I don't know. Maybe she, she's got some acting chops I haven't seen. But she's action lady. That's how I see her. Like, I don't want to see Jason Momoa in a fucking serious drama. I want to see him kick ass. Same with Gal Gadot, action lady. I want to see her do some mm, fucking kapow and shit. Very little of it. So yeah, I wanted to really like this. I liked everyone's performances. I liked the first f f film, even if the last third was a bit... Mm. But nothing really clicked in a way that made me go, wow. And I think the first Wonder Woman, even though I haven't done an official review on this channel, it came up before I started doing reviews, but I remember there was some kind of wow factor about that flick. And this movie missed the wow factor. So if you're going to go watch it, just get a just get a copy of it and watch it on your TV. I don't know why I'm pointing over there. I've got a TV over there. You can't see it, but it's over there. If you ever see me looking that way, I've got my notes on the TV right there. And I'm like, uh, directed by. So, yes, you all needed to know that. But yes, uh, I'm going to give it a five. There's a good movie in there. There's a good message. All that kind of stuff. Snip, snip, snip. Trim it down. Mind you, I should probably trim my reviews down too. Who wants to watch fucking eight minute reviews? Well, I do. <sighs> I would say this is no better or worse than the last few fucking Marvel movies I watched. 